Hi everybody, I just want to point out three strange occurrences or anomalies. Anomalies have become a common occurrence in the world now. Uh, we should think of another word other than anomaly. I find it really interesting, considering the technology that man is using today, and considering the geoengineering and the dumping of all of these particulates into the atmosphere, you don't really have to know exactly what it is. But that's where my mind goes. All right, man is doing something with the technology that they are using to geoengineer the planet. Why is it that people think that it's another species from another planet like aliens? That, that wouldn't be my first place that I would go to to try to understand what is happening here in our world. Eastern Europeans, they got orange snow. Orange snow. Meteorologists are claiming that it's sand blown in from a sandstorm from the Sahara Desert. The sand mixed in with the snow. But they also claim that it's common, apparently. It happens every five years. Sandstorms, do they only occur every five years? Maybe, I don't know. But if it's that common, why did people take the time to send pictures and video to mainstream media? Why are the people baffled? I would think that if it happens every five years, they wouldn't be baffled and they would understand what it is. But they are baffled. Hmm. So, that in itself is an anomaly. People being baffled when it occurs every five years. Okay. Daily Star. I know it's mainstream media in Britain, but what... What is this? Is this like a rag publication? I don't know. Because this is the publication where you will find articles about HARP and geoengineering. The latest is the United States Air Force controlling the weather. Well, we know it's controlling the weather. But frenzy as bizarre glow spotted during Texas storm. Mr. Chang on his way from Atlanta to Las Vegas, caught this from the plane. A thunderstorm, the lights that you see flashing. Frankly, it doesn't even look like lightning. But we know that man can create lightning. But what is that laserish looking light? that seems to be right alongside this plane. Well, apparently this got on a conspiracy channel or something, and a lot of people are claiming that it's aliens. All right. Uh, I don't. It certainly does look like it may be just yet another use of lasers or technology that the United States Air Force, oh look, they have so many different things in which they can create so many anomalies. Yeah, the clip was shared on popular YouTube conspiracy page Secure Team 10 on Thursday and it got half a million hits. Viewers were left speculating what it could be. One comment read, aliens are landing on the earth and causing these anomalies. Well, the psychopath is really kind of alien to the human being. They're still considered among the human race, but they are truly alien because they don't, they can do anything. Uh, they, they have no limits. They have no conscience. And they can with the technology that has developed, created, 
They can do anything. And we all know that one of the scenarios that they wanted to bring about was the return of Jesus and putting a hologram of Jesus in the sky to make Christians believe that, oh my God, Jesus has returned. I, <laughs> yeah, it's scary to think that that is actually documented, but true. All right. Sign of the apocalypse. Everything's a sign of the apocalypse. Isn't it interesting? And there are so many people who believe that, the, well, this has been prophesied and God is in control. God is in control. Somehow God is bringing all of this about. Man, is that not a incredibly evil, psychopathic God that these people have in their mind? I, to me, there's no way God would ever bring about so much suffering to so many people, animals, to life itself here. You know, considering, didn't God create this? Isn't this a creation of God? So many people believe that. But clearly in their minds, they believe that God is bringing about all of the destruction. God, you know, the, the opposite of Satan, no way could God ever do this. So, let me just say, I don't know what God is. It's a mystery. Jesus Christ is coming soon. I say it is a trumpet. All right. Um, so, here in Hawaii, this is what they heard. One explanation could be lasers, sonic weapons. Scientists are adding Star Wars sound effects to real lasers so they can hear them. And this was back in 2015. Scientists build lasers out of sound, call them phasers. Using a nanoscale drum, scientists have built the laser that uses sound waves instead of light, like a conventional laser. I will link below to these articles. For people to believe that it's aliens or God, and they're just not going to the most rational reasons for all of this, I don't understand that. And it seems to me that they need to hang on to something uh, that, I don't know, gives them hope or something. Here, Christians believe that Jesus Christ will bodily return and resurrect all the dead for a final judgment. There will be one last great battle between good and evil, and God will create a new heaven and a new earth. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. So many Christians sitting back waiting for God to come. And God, I guess, is going to be fighting this battle between good and evil. I think God is waiting for all of those who believe in God to get out of their chairs and start fighting. I mean, aren't you the soldiers of Christ? Aren't you the soldiers of God or the free will that the human being has means that they have to make choices. They have to, have to make deliberate decisions in their life how to use that will. A whole lot of us grow up 
not even conscious of any of what I just said. Oh, I have free will. Oh, I make deliberate decisions. Oh, okay. So that human being needs to do the work to get to that place where they understand, hmm, I need to be an aware, conscious, and informed individual in order for me to make good choices, decisions that will bring about good on earth or decisions to bring about more evil on earth. You don't have to go out and deliberately commit evil. You can just sit back and do nothing as the evil is being committed by others. One needs to make a conscious decision to join another team. And the other team is the good team. So you got the evil team and you got a good team. You got to make a conscious decision to get over on the right side, the moral side, the good side. If you haven't even done that, then you are absolutely part of the evil being committed. Anybody who could just wait for God for this final battle where he's going to destroy all evil and bring good back to earth. I'm sorry, it is a belief that allows you to be lazy and to just live your comfortable life. And that belief really does need to be reevaluated. Even if you are correct, even if your belief is true, I don't think God meant for you to just sit around and do nothing and wait for him to do the fighting. And perhaps God is waiting for all of you. And so many of you are not joining the fight. And then God will just say, you know what? There's too many of them on that planet. Too many who are just sitting back living their comfortable life, allowing more and more evil to create more and more suffering on that planet, I'm not even going to go there. That planet does need to be destroyed because I see the free will that I have given to the human being, they're not exercising it correctly. They're not using it correctly. I don't know. Just a thought that I had.